for what have I escaped? Where, anyway, would I go to escape? Your fave e girls are spending the summer smoking we fatties on the beach. And recording with hey guys. Lydia Cannabis is legal one. recreationally we and own. medicinally. <laughs> Roller skaters are twirling across town and the TO, while the feds continue to feverishly lock up black and brown people for trumped up weed charges. And other mortal sins. While the world is in the clutches of an unrelenting, people-killing virus, Washington state is melting, Florida is collapsing, California is constantly on fire, Cosby is free, but Britney is not, and no one can afford therapy. So, if this summer you find yourself to be hot, potentially horny, but ultimately unhappy, life's a bitch, and this reporter has none of the solutions. I turned 18 this year. I started to wonder a lot about the actual differences between adulthood and adolescence. It's almost as if adulthood is some sort of contract you sign yourself off to. But it's not. It's just another chapter of your life. Not all of us can be as well-spoken as James Baldwin or Nikki Giovanni. So you're writing for white people. Are you aware of that? I'm writing for people, baby. No, I don't believe in white people. But everyone is different. What's your name? Tiffany Mutiaro. Your age? I am uh, 18. Freshly 18. Your favorite color? Um, I would say purple. Purple, only because it's my mom's favorite color. And I don't know, I wanted to be like her when I was a kid. So everything I did, I liked was what she liked. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Dr. Brahanu Bolet. My age is... Uh... 49. I like my color, I like blue. blue. <clears throat> the career that I'm thinking of is midwifery, um, being a midwife. And I feel like it suits me, but I don't think it's one of my passions. I just feel like I'm passionate about helping people. love to have opportunity to help a mother bring their child into this world mm -hmm. smoothly, make her feel comfortable with it. Yes, very much. Uh, uh, the career, my career is very fit. I like the way I choose, and then uh, very much is uh, comfortable right now. Um, I would say very nostalgic. Whenever I think back on it, I think of my friends, like how they've helped me, how they've kind of molded me into the person who I am today. Um, like happy. I was a really happy kid. Um, up until like middle school, I started becoming the person who I am today, like finding out my interests and what I like to do and like who my friends are and who I am. Of course, I'm still learning, but I would say that for sure. Well, when I was a, lot, a, a kid, um, uh, we have a lot of friends go out and uh, play, particularly soccer, team, um, you know, running up and down. It's not like this. Uh, when I was adolescent, to you now the kids is most of the time I was spending it outside, not the inside of the like America here. So it's a little bit different. After speaking with two people completely different in age, I realized that there isn't much of a difference happening internally as we shift into the cusp of adulthood. Yeah. It actually seemed more similar. Trying to figure out who you are, where you belong, and how to get there is already such a difficult and confusing path that most people don't actually explore it very well. I don't believe that adulthood is something that can be done well with college degrees, overindulgence, or respected labor. 
intelligence and compassion is what I hope to see more in adults. And in my adulthood.